primary syphilis is associated with a painless ulcer that is called a chancre and is diagnosed with dark field microscopy. Secondary syphilis is associated with lesions on the palms and soles that look like nickels and dimes, which makes choice E the correct answer. Tertiary syphilis, also known as neurosyphilis, is associated with aortitis and neurological manifestations. Tabs dorsalis is a condition where the patient has a foot drop and a wide-based gait. Choice A is incorrect because it describes tabs dorsalis with secondary syphilis, whereas it's actually a part of tertiary or neurosyphilis. MHATP and FTA-ABS are specific tests for syphilis, while VDRL and RPR are nonspecific. Therefore, choice B is incorrect. The argyle robertson pupil is one that is able to constrict to accommodation, but not to light. Choice C is saying that the pupil is able to constrict to light in tertiary syphilis, which is an incorrect answer. The best approach to treating a pregnant patient who is allergic to penicillin is to first desensitize her and then to give her penicillin, making choice D incorrect. In non-pregnant penicillin allergic patients with syphilis, penicillin desensitization and administration is also the preferred treatment. However, doxycycline can be given instead.